in the series of the lectures on post transcription modifications we talked about the general aspects regarding messenger rna and ribosomal rna the last one in the series is regarding the post transcription modifications of this transfer rna very important rna okay rna acts as adapter molecule in this session at the end of the session the learner shall be able to know about various transcriptional modific post transcription modifications which take place in transfer rna okay then as i said transfer rna is an adapter molecule it is involved in the translation process that means it is a protein synthesis so when you talk about the primary transcript the transcript which is synthesized during the transcription process that is we call it primary transcript the primary transcript in prokaryotes and also in eukaryotes they undergo many changes they undergo many changes through various processing post transcriptional modification there majorly four changes one is cleavage that is cleavage of the cleavage of the primary transcript to the mature transfer rna then the second is trimming process from the ends the trimming process takes place to the uh, leads to formation of mature transfer rna the third one is which is seen that is very rare step that base additions here we say base additions which are taking place that is the one aspect this takes place after the transcription then the fourth one is covalent modification what does covalent modification a modification ultimately leads to formation of covalent bond so that means there may be addition of groups like phosphate is added there is a covalent bond formed methylation is there like that there such modifications many types of other modifications might take place which may not be seen in the messenger rna and ribosomal rna one enzyme which plays very important role in this post transcription modification of the transfer rna that enzyme i call it rnase p okay it is called ribonuclease so it is a ribosome ribonuclease it is ribozyme sorry it is a ribozyme okay then what is this ribozyme ribonuclease it is ribonucleoprotein so the name itself is telling us it is a combination of rna and protein okay then the it is combination of rna and also a protein a protein okay then it is a complex rna is having 377 nucleotides rna is having 377 nucleotides and molecular weight is around 130000 whereas protein is small component small peptide may combination of some amino acids the molecular weight is low comparison to the rna molecular weight okay then there are two different components are there okay then which component is playing catalytic role catalyst which component is acting as a catalyst here it is rna rna is catalyst here in this reaction rna is the catalyst okay then if rna is acting participating as a catalyst in this catalysis process what is the role of protein okay what is the role of protein the protein okay it helps it helps in attaining it helps okay to maintain three dimensional structure what is the role of protein the minor component maintain three dimensional structure so it is as important as rna so what does it mean what it implies here rna is a being a catalyst but it requires the help of the protein because protein provides a three dimensional structure when you see you know when you have seen an enzyme catalysis the enzyme has to attain three dimensional structure so that the catalytic groups they are nearby so that it can bind the substrate so that catalysis can take place this process of post transcription is very simple i will explain using some of the diagrams okay let me write the first one is the here in the first step it covers 
the cleavage and trimming process the trimming process here here various arms i am writing okay various arms i am writing here this is extra arm this is another one okay here like this okay then so there are three two ends are there what is this is five prime end this is three prime end so what happens the rnasp is acting here rnas okay rnasp is acting here rnasp is acting here so rnasp you cuts at the five prime end once it cuts at the five prime end by the rnasp so what will happen when you see the action of rnasp the action is fast action fast action bases the various bases are removed they are removed one by one not one time removed one by one okay so the action of this rnasp starts when still the transcription process is going on the transcription process going on the time itself rnas action will start it the cut from the end of the five prime end okay and bases are removed one by one okay see how it is happening then so what we will get it what it will remain by the action of this digestion let us see here here we say this is the one again and again i am writing here again extra arm okay then here okay then here see the here again we have the the five prime here phosphate five prime end here it is three prime end the next one next step is once the the additional bases on the five prime end they are removed then now the turn is to clean and trim the three prime end here an endonuclease will cut from inside endonuclease cut from inside so what is the role of endonuclease endonucleases they cut from the inside whereas exonucleases that cut from the outside by the action of endonuclease so at this end so what will happen again you see what the what the next result the next result is again i am writing okay then that is anti codon arm that is anti codon arm here i have okay then extra arm i am writing okay then the shortening of the three prime end arm is taking place shortening of the three prime end is taking place this is five prime end it is three prime end then what happens in the next step in the next step the rnas d another enzyme that is called rnas d it is an exonuclease exonuclease the rnas d being an exonuclease cutting from outside what it does the remaining portion it will cut it and remove it remove it let us see how the trimmed one looks like how the trimmed one looks like you can see again anti codon arm then extra arm then i have the the here okay then like this so this is here again we have the five phosphate five prime here it is three prime now the cleaving process and trimming process is over okay that is first and second step then next i will talk about the base additions that is the third step that is base additions base additions are taking place in the base additions what we have in the suppose if you take here to this one what will happen so there is addition of two ctp what is ctp cytidine triphosphate a pyrimidine base and one atp so that is inosine triphosphate okay so these are added 
then three pyrophosphate they are released so pyrophosphate they are released then by the action of enzyme any enzyme is there yes transfer rna nucleotidyl nucleotidyl transferase nucleotidyl transferase so that is the enzyme with the help of this enzyme it transfers this two cytidine and one adenine okay so what happens once this process takes place how the transfer rna looks like how the transfer rna looks like again here i have writing all the arms okay all the arms i am writing okay then here this is 5 prime the third the three prime end this is 5 prime end phosphate this is 3 prime end this is what we call acceptor arm acceptor arm means what is it what it accepts it accepts amino acids it binds amino acid at this end okay so how because this one is we call it anticodon arm it is anticodon arm so anticodon arm recognizes the sequence in the messenger rna the genetic code based on that one the transfer rna recognizes which amino acid has to be picked that amino acid is picks it and then it is brought to the site of protein synthesis that is ribosomes so that one amino acid can combine with another amino acid leads to formation of peptide later protein synthesis so that is what happens this is this type of addition of the the bases after the transcription very rare very rare step it is very rare step generally the bases are added during the transcription not after the transcription this is one thing which we see in the transfer rna the finally the fourth one is covalent modification that is we say covalent modification so what is this covalent modification i already mentioned about this one so that means addition of the some groups to the bases okay addition of the some groups to the bases this is also comes under so post transcriptional modification okay so when you see mature rna mature rna so the exhibits mature rna exhibits a great diversity it exhibits a great diversity a lot of lot of diversity what does it mean diversity that means so one transfer rna differs from the other transfer rna there may be many bases they differ as far as covalent bases or covalent modification is concerned suppose when i as i said the transfer rna there are generally the average number of nucleotides in the transfer rna around 75 to 90 some nucleotides so it is a clover leaf structure clover leaf structure or we can say twisted twisted l structure okay twisted l structure so there are very few nucleotides are there so out of this one there are around 26 to 30 are covalently modified covalently modified see that how extensively the covalent modification is taking place how this one extensively this covalent modification is taking place that means one transfer rna one base is covalently modified then other transfer rna other base is covalently so modified so this is about the transfer rna aspects let me now summarize summarize various aspects of this session which so far we have taken up okay so i told you that the transfer rna undergoes post transcriptional modification we have studied it studied it so we have set object to the various the modifications in transfer rna primary transcript of both prokaryotes and eukaryotes they undergo this transcription process what are these cleavage and trimming of the chains and there is base base additions there is base additions and then covalent modifications base additions and covalent modifications 
So enzyme, important, one of the most important enzyme is RNASP. It is called ribonuclease. It is ribonucleoprotein. So, okay. So, this is RNA. It is a complex of RNA having 377 nucleotides with the molecular weight 1,30,000. The minor component is protein, small peptide and 18,000 molecular weight. Here, it is not the protein which is playing the catalytic role. RNA is playing the catalytic role. It is a catalyst. It is participating in catalysis. What about protein? If RNA is a catalyst, what is the role of protein? It helps to maintain three-dimensional arrangement of complex, three-dimensional structure. It maintains the three-dimensional structure of the complex. Okay, now I will explain how the modifications which are taking place. This is the transfer RNA immediately after the transcription. So there is much longer than the mature transfer RNA. So this is 5 prime end is extended, 3 prime uh, end is extended, 5 prime end is extended, 3 prime end is extended. Then what will happen by the RNAs? So it will be acting and cutting here at the 5 prime end and then cleaving and then trimming. Cleaving and trimming taking place. After trimming, this transfer RNA looks like this. 5 prime, there is a phosphate is there. Now, it is the turn of the 3 prime end. So, there are two enzymes which participate. The first enzyme is endonuclease, which participates here, cutting from within the this chain. And um, the, uh, the remaining portion is digested. Then, what happens? The next enzyme, RNASD, an exonuclease, which comes into the picture. It starts cutting from the end and digesting it. After this one, how this transfer RNA looks like? So, both the ends are cleaved and trimmed, both 5 prime and 3 prime. Then what will happen? Next, we are coming to the third type of the post-transcriptional modifications, that is base additions. A bases are added, three bases are added, two cited in and one added in. Okay, then by the action of transfer RNA, nucleotidyl transferase. So that makes the acceptor arm. So this is very rare because bases are added during the transcription, not after the transcription. Here it is being added after the transcription. That is very rare. Then next, let us go into the final step of the post-transcription modifications. We say covalent modification. The mature RNA exhibits a great diversity. So, there are a total 75 to 90 nucleotides are there. 75 to these 90 nucleotides are there. So, the transfer RNA looks like clover leaf or twisted L structure. Okay. Then, so out of this one, 26 to 30, they are covalently modified. Some or other group is added through the covalent linkage. So, that is the reason the diversity, the diversity of the this transfer RNA, which is great diversity, we can say it is yield some diversity. Okay, so because in one transfer RNA, one base is covalently modified, in another transfer RNA, another base is covalently modified. So, with this, I am completing the post transcriptional modification sessions on various RNAs and general aspects. Thank you.